Navigating the days leading up to your cataract eye surgery can be filled with questions and maybe a bit of anxiety. What should you do? What should you avoid? How can you best prepare for a smooth and successful procedure? Well, fear not. I'm here to guide you through each step with detailed preoperative instructions. Hello everyone, Dr. John here. Welcome back to my channel. And for those new here, I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and cataract surgeon. My goal for this channel is to create your go-to source for reliable eye health care insights. Today, I have a very special episode for those of you who are on the path to clear your vision. If you're scheduled for cataract surgery or know someone who is, this video is an essential watch. Cataract surgery is a common and generally safe procedure, but proper preparation is key to ensuring the best possible outcome. In this video, I'm going to cover everything from the essential medical appointment information you need to know to schedule before your surgery, to some of the specific guidelines about your medications, what you can eat and drink, and other restrictions. I understand that preparing for surgery is more than just a physical process. It's about feeling informed, confident, and ready for the journey towards improved vision. So let's get started. Scheduling an appointment with your primary care doctor a couple weeks before cataract surgery is a critical step in the preoperative process. Let's break down why this is so important. Assessment of overall health. This appointment is an opportunity for your primary care doctor to assess your overall health condition. It's essential to ensure that you are in good health before undergoing any surgery. This assessment helps in minimizing the risk of complications during and after the procedure managing existing medical conditions. If you have existing medical conditions, particularly those that could affect surgery like high blood pressure or heart issues, it's crucial that these are well managed. Uncontrolled medical conditions can increase the risk of complications during surgery. For example, heart problems can pose a risk for anesthesia during surgery. Avoiding rescheduling surgery. Failing to complete these preoperative tests and assessments can lead to the postponement or rescheduling of your surgery. This is because the surgical team needs to have complete confidence in your readiness and safety for the procedure. Completing these steps well in advance helps ensure there are no last minute surprises that could delay your path to better vision. In summary, the appointment with your doctor before cataract surgery is not just a routine checkup. It's a fundamental part of your surgical journey, ensuring that you are fully prepared and that the surgery can proceed safely and effectively. Remember, this step is about prioritizing your health and safety to achieve the best possible outcome from your cataract surgery. Medications. The instructions regarding medication intake on the morning of cataract surgery are tailored to the balance between the need for maintaining routine medication regimens while also ensuring safety during the surgical procedure. Here's a detailed look at some of these guidelines. Taking routine medications. It is generally safe and recommended to continue to take your routine medications on the morning of surgery. This is important because abruptly stopping certain medications can lead to adverse effects and potentially destabilize your medical conditions. For instance, if you're on medications for blood pressure or heart conditions, skipping a dose could lead to significant fluctuations in your blood pressure or your heart rate, which can be risky during surgery. You need to speak with your doctor before surgery to figure out what medications you should continue and which ones should stop. Exception for diabetic medications. Diabetic medications are an exception to this rule. The reason for not taking certain diabetic medications, particularly insulin or oral hypoglycemic agents on the morning of surgery is related to the fasting requirement. Since you are required to fast, not eat or drink after midnight before surgery, taking diabetic medications without eating could lead to dangerously low blood sugar levels called hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia during surgery can be hazardous and complicate the anesthesia process. The decision to which diabetic medications you can take prior to surgery will be determined by your primary care doctor during your medical clearance appointment. Informing about blood thinners. It's crucial to inform your surgical team if you're taking blood thinners like aspirin. Blood thinners can increase the risk of bleeding during and after surgery. Depending on the type of blood thinner and your medical history, your doctor might advise you to temporarily stop these medications before surgery. This decision though is made on a case-by-case -case basis, balancing the risk of bleeding with the risk of stopping the medication. Overall, these guidelines are designed to maintain your health stability 
while minimizing any potential risk during cataract surgery process. Always follow the specific instructions given by your healthcare team as they are tailored to your specific individual needs. Do not eat or drink after midnight. The instruction to not eat or drink anything after midnight before surgery is a common and critical directive known as NPO after midnight. NPO stands for a Latin phrase that means nothing by mouth. This guideline is especially important for patients undergoing surgeries like cataract surgery for many reasons. One of the main reasons for fasting before surgery is to prevent the risk of aspiration. Aspiration occurs when the stomach contents are breathed into the lungs. During surgery, especially under general anesthesia, the body's normal reflexes are temporarily paused or diminished. If there is food or liquid in your stomach, there's a risk it could end up in your esophagus and then be inhaled into your lungs, which can cause serious complications, including pneumonia. An empty stomach is important for the safe administration of anesthesia. Anesthesiologists require a fasting period to ensure the stomach is empty to minimize complications during the induction of anesthesia. Fasting also reduces the chances of postoperative nausea and vomiting, which are common side effects of anesthesia. These symptoms can be uncomfortable and can complicate the recovery process. This fasting protocol is part of a standard preoperative procedure adopted across many healthcare facilities in the United States. It is a safety measure designed to protect patients and improve surgical outcomes. It's important to follow this guideline strictly. If you accidentally eat or drink after the cutoff time, it's essential to inform your surgical team. Depending on the situation, your surgery may need to be rescheduled for your safety. In summary, fasting from midnight before your cataract surgery is a vital safety precaution that helps ensure the smooth and safe administration of anesthesia and minimizes the risk of complications during and after the procedure. Eye drops. Prior to cataract surgery, eye drops are often prescribed to pair the eye for the procedure. These drops may serve various purposes, such as reducing the risk of infection, minimizing inflammation, or even facilitating pupil dilation. The goal is to ensure that the eye is in the best possible condition at the time of cataract surgery. Always follow the specific instructions given by your eye surgeon as they are tailored to your individual needs and the specifics of your surgery. Avoid makeup, jewelry, valuables. The instructions to avoid wearing eye or face makeup, nail polish, or earrings, and to leave valuables at home on the day of cataract surgery are important for many reasons. Makeup can harbor bacteria and other microorganisms which pose a risk of infection to the surgical site. The area around the eyes must be clean and sterile during cataract surgery to prevent any contamination. Additionally, makeup particles can interfere with the surgical field and the precision required for the procedure. Nail polish can sometimes interfere with the pulse oximeter, a device used during surgery to monitor your oxygen levels through a sensor typically placed on your finger. Certain types of nail polish, especially the dark colors, can affect the accuracy of this monitoring. Clear or no nail polish ensures that the medical team can effectively monitor your vital signs. Earrings and other jewelry should be removed to prevent any potential interference with surgical equipment and to maintain a surgical sterile environment. Metal objects, including jewelry, can sometimes interfere with the electrical equipment used during surgery. Transportation. You need to have a driver the day of surgery and the day after surgery. The requirement to have a driver to and from the surgery center on the day of your cataract surgery and for your post-operative appointment is a crucial safety measure. Let's discuss why this is so important. Effects of anesthesia and sedation. Cataract surgery often involves the use of anesthesia or sedatives, which can impair your judgment, coordination, and reaction time. Even if you feel alert after the procedure, these effects can linger. Driving under such conditions is dangerous not only for you, but for also for others on the road. Visual impairment post-surgery. Immediately following cataract surgery, your vision may be blurry or obscured due to the procedure itself and any protective coverings over your eye. This temporary visual impairment makes it unsafe to operate a vehicle. It's essential to give your eye the time it needs to recover and for your vision to stabilize. Physical and mental stress. Surgery, even a routine procedure like cataract surgery, can be physically and mentally taxing. Post-surgical fatigue is common and it can affect your ability to focus and react quickly while driving. In summary, Having someone drive you to and from your cataract surgery and post-operative appointment is a non-negotiable safety precaution. 
It ensures your well-being during a period when you may not be at your full capacity to drive or handle emergencies. It's always better to plan this in advance and to avoid any last-minute issues and to ensure a smooth and stress-free experience. All right, folks, that brings us to the end of our comprehensive guide on preparing for cataract surgery. I hope you found this information both helpful and reassuring. Remember, the journey to clearer vision through cataract surgery is a remarkable one, and being well-prepared is your first step towards a successful outcome. Let's quickly recap some of the key points. Schedule that pre-surgery appointment with your primary care doctor. Follow your medication and fasting guidelines. Keep up with your eye drop regimen, and don't forget the importance of any pre-surgery hygiene. Also, remember to dress comfortably on the day, avoid makeup and jewelry, and most importantly, arrange for someone to drive you to and from the surgery center. I know, it might seem like a lot to take in, but trust me, each of these steps plays a crucial role in ensuring your safety and the success of your surgery. Think of it as a checklist where every tick is a step closer to your goal, clear, cataract-free vision. Don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare team with any questions or concerns you might have. They are there to support you through this journey. And of course, I'm here to break down complex medical stuff into simple, actionable steps. So feel free to revisit any part of this video if you need a refresher. Stay positive, stay informed, and take these steps seriously. Your path to improve vision is just around the corner. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more eye health and wellness content. Until next time, keep taking small steps toward a healthier, happier you.